Voice feminization is a process many transgender women undergo to make their voices sound more traditionally feminine. This journey can be challenging, as it involves not only altering pitch, but also modifying other aspects of vocal production. Whether you're new to voice feminization or looking to refine your skills, understanding common pitfalls is crucial. Here, we'll delve into the top trans voice mistakes to avoid to help you achieve a more authentic and comfortable feminine voice. Voice feminization refers to the techniques and practices used to modify one's voice to sound more feminine. This process is particularly important for transgender women who wish to align their vocal presentation with their gender identity. Voice feminization can involve various strategies, including altering pitch, resonance, intonation, and speech patterns. While some individuals may choose to undergo vocal surgery, many rely on vocal training and practice to achieve their desired voice. Several characteristics contribute to a voice being perceived as feminine. These include pitch. Feminine voices generally have a higher pitch than masculine voices. However, pitch alone does not determine vocal gender. Resonance, the quality of the voice, influenced by the shape and size of the vocal tract, can make a significant difference. A more forward and brighter resonance is often perceived as feminine. Intonation and melody. Feminine speech tends to have more varied intonation and a melodic quality, with more rises and falls in pitch. Speech patterns. Feminine voices often use different speech patterns, including the rhythm and flow of sentences, as well as the use of certain speech sounds. Understanding these elements is essential for anyone looking to feminize their voice, but it's equally important to avoid common mistakes that can hinder progress. Some common mistakes to avoid when feminizing your voice include over-exaggerating pitch, intonation, and speech patterns, which can come off as unnatural and forced. It's important to strive for a balance between making adjustments to sound more feminine while still maintaining authenticity and staying true to yourself. Practicing regularly with the help of a speech therapist or vocal coach can be beneficial in honing these skills and achieving a more natural and feminine voice quality. Remember that everyone's journey is unique, so be patient with yourself and celebrate progress along the way. One of the most common mistakes in voice feminization is attempting to use an excessively high pitch. While it's true that feminine voices typically have a higher pitch range, going too high can make your voice sound unnatural or strained. It's crucial to find a comfortable pitch that you can sustain without discomfort. Achieving a naturally feminine voice involves more than just pitch modification. Resonance also plays a significant role. Shifting the resonance from your chest to more of a head or nasal placement can make your voice sound lighter and less masculine. Neglecting speech patterns. Another mistake is focusing solely on pitch while neglecting speech patterns. Women often have different intonation patterns compared to men, such as varied inflections, softer articulations, and sometimes quicker rates of speech. Paying attention to these subtleties can make conversations feel more authentic. Skipping vocal warm-ups, just like athletes warm up their bodies before exercise. Warming up your vocal cords is essential for preventing strain and injury. Simple exercises like humming scales or practicing lip trills can prepare your voice at the start of each day or before significant speaking engagements. Ignoring feedback. It's easy to get lost in practice without seeking external feedback, but an unbiased opinion helps identify areas needing improvement that might be missed otherwise. Recording yourself regularly and possibly working with a speech therapist specializing in gendered communication can offer insightful critiques. Impatience with progress voice feminization takes time. It's not something achieved overnight. Consistent practice combined with patience yields results gradually over weeks or months rather than days. Remember that setbacks are part of learning any new skill. They don't signify failure, but rather opportunities for refinement. Focusing on approximants, lastly, language-specific nuances must also be considered. Approximate constants such as or sounds differ distinctly across genders' understanding and embracing flexibility here. Vital linguistic markers adapt transition streamlined manner familiarizing oneself. Either courses, specialized literature, invaluable. Essentials, progression, final, ultimate goal, achieving genuinely comfortable, enjoyable reflections, true self. Resonance refers to the quality of the sound produced by your vocal tract. It's another key component of a feminine voice that is often overlooked. While pitch is important, resonance plays a crucial role in how your voice is perceived. A voice that is too deep and resonant can still sound masculine even if the pitch is higher. To achieve a more feminine resonance, focus on shifting the resonance from your chest to your head and mouth. This involves practicing forward resonance, where the vibrations are felt more in the face rather than the chest. Vocal exercises that emphasize this shift can help you develop a brighter, more feminine sound. Speaking too quickly is a common issue that can affect the perception of your voice. 
Rapid speech can make it difficult for listeners to understand you and can also make it harder to maintain the other aspects of a feminine voice, such as intonation and resonance. Feminine speech patterns often involve a more measured and deliberate pace with varied intonation and emphasis. Slowing down your speech allows you to focus on these elements and ensures that your voice sounds more natural and controlled. Practice speaking slowly and clearly, paying attention to how you use your pitch, resonance, and intonation. Think about the emotions you wanna convey through your voice and practice modulating your tone accordingly. Experiment with different vocal exercises and take note of how they affect the quality of your voice. Remember that developing a feminine voice takes time and practice, so be patient with yourself as you work towards achieving the desired results. Keep working on your speaking techniques, and soon enough, you will feel more confident in expressing yourself authentically through your voice. A breathy and airy voice can sometimes be mistaken for a feminine quality, but overdoing it can lead to a voice that sounds weak or insincere. While a slight breathiness can add a soft, gentle quality to your voice, too much can make it difficult to project your voice and be understood. To avoid this, practice balancing breathiness with clarity and strength. Focus on proper breath support and control, using diaphragmatic breathing to ensure you have enough air to support your speech without sounding overly airy. Nonverbal communication plays a significant role in how your voice is perceived. This includes gestures, facial expressions, and body language. Ignoring these aspects can undermine your efforts to feminize your voice. For instance, feminine communication often involves more expressive facial expressions and gestures, which complement the vocal qualities you're working to achieve. Pay attention to your overall communication style and practice integrating more expressive nonverbal cues. This can help reinforce the feminine qualities of your voice and make your communication more cohesive and natural. Voice feminization is a multifaceted process that goes beyond simply raising your pitch. By avoiding common mistakes such as using an excessively high pitch, neglecting resonance, speaking too fast, sounding too breathy, and ignoring nonverbal communication, you can develop a more authentic and comfortable feminine voice. Remember, finding your feminine voice is a personal journey, and it requires patience, practice, and perseverance. Embrace the process, seek guidance from professionals if needed, and most importantly, be kind to yourself as you work towards achieving your vocal goals. Finally, we would like to express our gratitude for watching till the end. We hope you found the video valuable and informative. If so, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and leaving us a comment below. We are eager to hear from you. In the end, we have a humble request for you. We are trying hard to keep you enlightened and empowered by creating awesome videos like this. Please support us by joining our membership program. The link is in the description. Your little contribution will inspire us to make more awesome content for you like this. The next video will be published tomorrow, so don't miss it. Till then, take care. More wisdom, more solutions, better life.